This music just fits David. Boom. Ba dum ba dum. Boom. Okay, you know what? Fluffy's gonna have to die. I'm checking. I'm checking the safe first. Let's see. I have the piece of a whatever. Can I make a word out of that? Family. It's family. How do you do this? Okay, that's how you do it. It's family. I know it. Now I love you, because I love you. I love you. Why? Unlock the box. What box? The safe? Oh, yeah, it is. What's this? I don't care about the safe right now. God damn it, David. Okay, I'm ready. Give me what you got, Crooky. I'm ready to beat this game. Hey there. Fluffy! <laughs> no! I don't want him! Stay away! Stay away! I, I have to do something about that thing. Why do I have a timer? Why is there a timer? Hey! Hey! Hello? Acknowledge me! Oh god, there has to be something around here. Uh, fire extinguisher! Uh, out of time. I'll use this against that Game over, okay. So much of that idea. Yeah, that one will be good. Hey, acknowledge me. Trigger it! Shut up, I don't care! If it were up to me, I'd be in the safe right now and you'd be dead. Ah! I'll use this against that monster. Bang him in the head. Get away from Fluffy! The hell is he going? Why is he running? I cut him like 25 times in the freaking hotel and he still fought me. Whatever. Fluffy, you're not hurt? Nope, I'm fine, Mr. David. It, it was my fault that you, you got hurt, Mr. David. How is it your fault? It's okay. Not your fault. Didn't do anything. Oh, well, I passed out. That's great. Oh, David's dead. The moral of the story. Always be fluffy. It's not your fault. Don't be distraught. Maybe I shouldn't say this, but this kind of thing happens all the time. If we had it, if we had noticed a little sooner, what was that? Who's crying? David? I mean, not David. Fluffy? Ugh. Mister David! Did I pass out? Damn, my head still hurts. Damn monster. Mister David, you're okay. Yes, Fluffy. I'm fine. You're not hurt. Nope. I'll be fine too. Sorry for worrying you. Looks like that monster went away. Fluffy? Oh, uh, Fluffy's possessed. I, I want my mama. I don't like monsters. I don't like the dark. Hey, it's funny being a kid. Fluffy. Should we go to the police? I'm sure your mother's there, so. I, I told mama I'd wait. Mama said she was proud of me. So I'll, I'll wait for her. Mom wouldn't lie. She's gonna come for me. So I have to wait here. He really should be with the police. But he just won't listen. And if I try to force him, he'll just run. I'll give him a little more time. Then I'll force him to go if I have to. You said that so many times. I do wonder what his mom's doing though. Leaving her son behind like this. I can't believe some people. And what's that monster up to? He was chasing me before. And now he's just after Fluffy. I don't think I can possibly know. I just need to protect him from being attacked. Maybe he should find a weapon somewhere. Weapon. You're a good kid, Fluffy. Putting up with all this. You're really great. I bet your mama's proud of you. Hold out a little more, okay? I'll stay with you. Oh my 
god, am I really searching for more weapons? I'm sick of searching this place. Oh! Wow. Okay, David. Apparently you're all healthy now. Please be a weapon. Unlock safe. Unlock the safe. Got a revolver and pistol ammo. Oh, right. That is... That is David getting his ass kicked. Monster! Mr. David! Help! Grr, that monster's damn persistent. Fluffy, over here. No, I'm scared of monsters! I don't wanna! I don't wanna! Fluffy, get over here. Don't let that monster come near you. Damn it, Fluffy! I gotta go after Fluffy. Okay, now this is the part where everything gets intense. I'm gonna assume the roof again. That seems to be the spot where everything's happening. Everyone, action mode. Upstairs, burn the traitor. Oh god, what am I doing? Wait, almost forgot. Fluffy. I'm gonna have to shoot him. It's probably not gonna be easy. No, 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 no. Stay away. Mr. David, help! Oh no, the music. Over here, Fluffy. Don't let it get near you. Ah! Run away! Mr. David, help! Is that it? What? Damn it! It is. It really is after Fluffy. Listen, don't let it catch you. Run away, I'll take care of it. Oh, okay! Oh, okay. I killed Fluffy! Good. <laughs> it was all part of the plan. Fluffy, stop moving so much! I don't want to shoot you, Fluffy! Okay, I think I killed the monster this time. Yeah! This is the end. Don't come near Fluffy again, monster. What the hell did you do? Did he explode? Dead! You had explosive fist! So he shot it about 12 times and then killed it with his fist. Whatever. I... I don't know how many times they shot it, but not even it could. Why are you so tired after frickin' shooting? You were just fine. Fluffy, I'm sorry you had to go through that, but it's all okay now. Fluffy, what's wrong? Were you hurt? Uh, oh, Fluffy's going all dark. Huh? Sorry, I had to check on something. Anyways, we're back. I... It's so scary, but I... I keep hanging in there, and I just want to go home. So why won't Mama come? Does Mama hate me? Hmm. Fluffy. Mama hates me. So she'll never come back for me. I'm just an unwanted kid. Wait a minute. Sissy in the first one was heartbroken. David went through that. D failed at something he wanted. Kind of like David. And he is having mother issues. Yeah, this is... This is gonna link up. Fluffy, that's not true. It's not it. Flashbacks. That's not you. You. I'm going to miss the policeman. Huh? Hooray! He's finally learning. Oh, uh, okay. I'll go with you. 
I'm fine. I can go by myself. Fluffy, you shouldn't be here. You shouldn't be alone late at night. I'm a tough kid. I can make it on my own, even if Mama isn't there. Even if Mama isn't there, I won't cry. What? Right in my ear. Thanks, David. My head feels like it's gonna explode. Okay, so what am I doing now? Fluffy! He... He left. On his own. No, Fluffy. Your mother didn't hate you. It was you who lost faith in her. Ah! What have I been doing here? Wandering these ruins. Looking for a man I don't know. I should go home. There's no point to this. Nothing. Nothing will change. Obviously, you're gonna have to do another battle before this game is over, so might as well. Guess I'm leaving. Okay, bye, Fluffy. I'll see you in hell, or wherever the hell you spawn. Ah, oh, David. Got really dark. Probably the end of David. Honestly. David, are you gonna die? Are you gonna kill yourself? What the hell was that? Sounded like a woman's voice. Could it be Fluffy's mother? So she did come for him. That's good. I must have passed Fluffy by. The voice came from the clinic side. I'll go check. Oh no. This is not gonna be his mom, is it? Emergency room? No. The fuck is she? Oh, the open door. Yeah, this is a terrible idea. Go in the room! No, oh, I had to click on it. Oh, what the hell? Who? Who's that over there? Who's that? Hey! Who are you? Mom? Davy, why do you abandon me? That's not. Mom, how can you be here? I hate hospitals. You're my family. Yet, you abandon me? No. You were sick, Mom. So. So, so you left me? My own family couldn't stand me anymore. No, you're wrong. David! Who are you? My mom couldn't possibly be here. Why are you pretending to be her? It hurts, Davy, just like it did then. Are you going to try and kill me again? So the plot thickens. It hurts so much, Davy. Alrighty then, David. So, he tried to kill his mom. Who are you? Why are you in my house? What did you do with my husband? Answer me! Mom, please stop. You kept saying things like that. Dad just went out, okay? Did you forget? <laughs> Shut up, intruder! I don't know anyone like you. I'll call the police on you. Stop it. Don't tell me you're already going senile. Please, take a rest for today. I'm tired from work. Just tell me if I'm a bother. Shut up! Keep your mouth shut. Do you think I know you? Get out of here! Stop! What are you saying? Did I do something wrong? Please, just tell me if I did something wrong. Are you teasing me? Because it's not funny. Please, Mom. Quiet. I'm not your mother. I don't know you. Get out. Enough. Ah. Mur murder. Somebody. Murder. 
David! Hey! What are you doing? Hey, stop! Let's go! You're trying to kill her! David! It's been so long since I actually heard David talk that I don't remember how he sounded. I mean, Paul. It appears to be a brain tumor. It's putting much pressure on her brain. Sudden changes in behavior, violent action, and memory loss can be signs of brain illness. It's not your fault. Don't be distraught. In some cases, counseling to resolve friction in a family can uncover an illness. Maybe I shouldn't say this, but this kind of thing happens all the time. If we had noticed a little sooner. Oh, so this is the flashback he was having earlier. Back to the topic of your mother. She appears to be very weak. We'll have to postpone the operation for now. We've hospitalized her for the time being, and her condition will influence our decision. Hopefully it won't be long. Please, come by to see her often. Even if she doesn't seem to know you, she is family. No, we're not family anymore. Don't, don't say we are. If I hadn't been stopped just like that, I would have... I would have never forgiven myself for it. I would have never been forgiven for it. There really was hatred in me. And it's true, I've abandoned her in the hospital. She was my only family. My precious family who cared for me after my father left. And yet I... My wishes never come true. My dreams, love, and even family all go away. I can't have anything that's not crooked. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What have I been searching for? I don't have to anymore. It's obvious now. There was only one way from the very beginning. David! Scene 3. Central Hospital. Fluffy. End. Oh! No! Oh. They can't even wrap this up yet. That is... That is awesome storyline. Not, not the situation. The situation is pretty terrible, but the storyline is pretty amazing. Sadly, the hospital was a pain in my freaking brain, but that's beyond the point. Anyways, guys, it's been Fear from With Fear Gaming, and I hope you enjoyed the show. If you did, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Um, always helps me out. Anyways, as always, I'll see you in the next one.